Jake Paul, Logan Paul, any of the Pauls, I don't care. Alright, what's up my boys? Welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. Uh, last time we got through all of the night levels, and now this time we are moving on to the pool levels. So uh, yeah, let's get into that. <laughs> Looks like the zombies gave up attacking your front yard. Now they're trying your backyard. And to top it all off, you can't even use your mushrooms, because they'll fall asleep during the day. Well, isn't that just dandy? So... We're not going to be able to use our mushrooms that we had in the night levels because they'll just fall asleep during the day. There is going to be another plant that we can choose where we can actually wake up the night plants, but unfortunately that's way later on. Okay, so you can see here it gave us a lily pad. That's pretty much mandatory for all the pool levels, so we always need to bring that one. Um, I think for the first pool level, we'll just play this like a normal day level. Nothing too complicated right now, it's just brown coats and bucket heads. Why did I put a lily pad there? Jeez, it's been a while. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've said this before, but the pool levels in this game are like my favorite section. The kind of plants that you unlock in this world are just fucking awesome, and that's what makes these uh, pool levels so fun. Because like, I'm pretty sure we end up getting like Torchwood and um, Three Peter. Even though Three Peter isn't that great, it's still a whole lot of fun to use in the pool levels because Three Peters just covers so many lanes. Do, 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 do. Of course, the banging music playing in the background. I probably didn't need double rows, but that's fine. Start placing these lily pads down there so I can have a. Uh, Repeaters on the pool. Put another potato mine there. Uh, let's put that in the pool. Speaking of music, I've actually recently uploaded uh, a new video on my second channel. Yes, I actually do have a second channel. And it's called... These nuts! <laughs> Got it! And it's called Extra Shrunk. I uploaded a shitty cover of me, like, singing Treasure by Bruno Mars. <laughs> give me your, give me your, give me your attention, baby. I gotta tell you a little something about yourself. Oh, 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 I know that you don't know it, but you're fine, so fine, fine, so fine. Ah, I'm gonna kill myself! It's honestly really cringy and embarrassing to watch it afterwards. It'll be good memories in the future. <laughs> I don't even know why I made a second channel. I feel like I really just wanted to upload a bunch of videos that I never really planned on putting on my main channel, which is this channel. So I just thought, you know, what if I just make a second channel where I can just upload whatever I want and it won't affect like the main channel at all. So I pretty much just did that. Uh, there really isn't gonna be consistent uploads on the second channel, mostly because this main channel is just a lot of work for me already. So <laughs> like I can barely maintain the upload schedule I have. You got Squash, Squash is Zombies. Well. No shit. Hey, wanna buy an extra seat slot? It'll cost you 5,000? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that shit. I don't know how much the next seat slot will cost. I think it's like 10,000. Good to have as many seat slots as you can. Um, okay, so we got football zombie and newspaper zombie. I guess we'll try to set up walnuts. I'm sure there's gonna be more flags this time, more than just one flag. Probably two flags. Eh, we'll bring chomper just for the hell of it. We don't really have that many plants right now. We do have squash now, which will really help against the tougher zombies, like bucket heads and, um, and, uh, what was it, football zombies. I don't know why I was blanking out there. Also, one thing I always forget about pool levels compared to regular day levels is the fact that there's actually six rows instead of five, which is something that I guess you never really notice until someone points it out. <laughs> or maybe that's just me. Squash, I think, is a really good plant for... Not just emergency, but also for stalling too because of how cheap it is. So it can really help you set up your plants alongside potato mine. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you guys can hear the music well because the music volume is very low. Um, <laughs> it's probably not going to be that loud for you guys. One problem I've had with um, my older videos is the fact that the audio balancing is not great. And sometimes, like, in my older videos, I would have background music playing. Like, background music that I would add in, like, post. So yeah, I've just been trying to improve the quality of my videos, you know. Try to make sure 
everything is balanced, no like audio problems. Even though my microphone does peak a lot when I'm recording, but I think that's just a matter of my equipment that I'm using, because the microphone I'm using is a blue snowball. It's not the greatest quality, but it works for what I'm doing right now. Ooh, mini games unlocked. Sweet. Play those uh, next episode. I think we only have like three unlocked, which is like some botany, walnut bowling, and something else. I think it was slot machine. But yeah, we won't have all of them unlocked. We have to beat the game to unlock all, all of the mini games. I think it's a lot better than what the iOS version did, where you have to actually pay for each individual mini game. Obviously, it doesn't have to be real money, even though you can spend money on the mobile apps to get coins, but there's really no point in doing that. But yeah, you have to spend coins to unlock mini games in, um, in the iOS version, which I always thought is really dumb, but you know, it is owned by EA now. When, when this game first released on PC, it wasn't owned by EA, it was just owned by PopCap, but now, uh, now times have changed. Not really a whole lot to do left in this level, kind of just waiting for it to end, as always. I don't know, this is why I should do, like, one of the harder mods for this game, or move on to PVC2 after the, after I complete this game, because this game is pretty easy. Like, you shouldn't really be getting overwhelmed. Although it does get tougher in the fog levels. And I've said before that the fog levels are really not my favorite part of the game because they add a lot of, like, new zombies and new shit to worry about. But it does add difficulty to the game. And, you know, I, I always like a new challenge, you know? And while these pool levels are great, they're really easy compared to all the other worlds in the game. God, I just have so much sun. Here, use a cherry bomb. Why not? God, I really wish I had the imitator. If you don't know what the imitator is, basically, it makes a duplicate of any other plant that you pick. So say if I wanted to have two pea shooters, um, I would pick the pea shooter and also the imitator plant. Um, let's just chomp this guy for the memes. Why not? Let's kill all these guys. Wipe them all out. I have so much sun in my pockets, bro. I'm like Helios. Isn't there like a sun god? What What is the sun god called? In like Greek mythology? Or I might be going crazy. <laughs> we unlocked a three Peter though. Um, shoots peas in three lanes. Yeah. You might use that. And considering the fact that we had a shitload of sun left over, um, I think we can manage the 325 sun cost. Um, we do have snorkel zombies, which basically their gimmick is that they go underwater and they don't- you can't, um, attack them until- until they, uh, rise up out of the water, which one- one good strat to- to do is put a lily pad up with a walnut so that they can attack them while they're eating the walnut. It's kind of risky going for just three Peter as our main offensive plant, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Trust me. One main reason why I wanted to make a new channel is because I was planning to get back to um, doing some drawing and like illustration like that. I want to like start to learn how to how to get better at drawing. Originally, I used to have another channel which was just called Shrunk, and that was supposed to be the main channel. Shrunk Place was never actually meant to be the main channel and basically that channel was supposed to be like a drawing channel where I pretty much just like document my entire art journey but then at some point I kind of just took a break from drawing because I wasn't really enjoying it that much so then like at some point I just started working on this channel and this is what I mainly focus on right now. Uh, the gaming channel. But I do plan on trying to get back to drawing. Like, one reason why I want to get back into drawing is because it could be a nice, um, back off, backup in, in case, um, like YouTube fails, you know. Um, let's put one of these down. There we go. There we go. It covers three lanes. Look how convenient that is. But yeah, I think drawing or, like, illustration or any type of, like, art-related job, I feel like that would be a really good backup for me in case YouTube just doesn't work out. Because I do plan on taking YouTube seriously, but... Because I, I feel like YouTube ad revenue isn't the, the most reliable thing, you know, obviously. So, like, having YouTube as my main job and, like, form of income, uh, it might not be the best idea. So, you know, always having a, some sort of, like, backup career just in case things don't work out. Uh, is always great to have, so that's why I wanted to get back into drawing at some point. And honestly, if I were to make like an art channel, the main focus wouldn't be doing YouTube, it would be, or like focus on growing that channel at all, that wouldn't be the priority. It would mainly just be used to document 
me trying to improve at art and try to try to like develop into like some sort of like freelance illustrator or whatever I want to pursue when it comes to art. Uh, this level has been relatively easy. Uh, we haven't run into any snorkel zombies so far. As you can see, I've pretty much just been placing the the three Peters in these two rows because I mean you really don't need to put them in other rows. See that snorkel zombie, the three Peters can't hit him, but as soon as he rises up, there we go, shoot him down. <laughs> Shoot him down, boys. God, this game is so relaxing. This is the type of game that you play while you're taking a shit. And that's why I keep saying, like, this game was, like, meant to be a mobile game. Even though it released... It first released on PC, like, a long time ago. It was just meant to be a mobile game beca because of, like, how casual it is. Now, compared to, like, the the shooter games, which are, like, Garden Warfare and Battle for Neighborville, they're not as casual as this game because those are obviously, like shooter FPS type games. I say shooter instead of FPS because they're not first person shooters, they're third person shooters. No zombies getting through this setup, bruh. Or at least not these zombies, because they sent really easy zombies for this level. God, we've been going for 20 minutes already. That's crazy. Hopefully future me will edit a lot of this uh, video out, because I don't want to be uploading really long videos for the rest of this week, because Celeste was like, the Celeste video I uploaded on Tuesday was not supposed to be that long, but it's just the fact that it took me, like, two hours to beat that one level, which was, uh, really starting to annoy me, honestly. <laughs> yeah, that Celeste video was annoying the hell out of me, and it took me so long to edit that video, it was insane. Now, by the time this video goes up, um, there should be another video up, which is Late Shift. That game was also really long like in terms of the recording, but I feel like I couldn't really edit out really anything because that's such a story-based driven game, so cutting anything out like would kind of like hurt the continuity and you guys wouldn't know like the entire picture of like what's going on with the game if I were to cut stuff out, so that's why mostly uh, that video is mainly just unedited because it really just needs to be. It's like a story-based game. Like, I literally said in that video that it feels like movie night was shrunk. The game is literally just a movie that you pick decisions for occasionally. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got Tangle Kelp. Basically, that'll help pull zombies underwater. It's basically like an aquatic potato mine. A potato mine you can put on water. Even if you put a lily pad on the water, you still can't plant a potato mine in there because a potato mine is supposed to go underground and obviously it can't go underground when it's on the water. Tangle kelp is an all right plant. I tend to just set up a shitload of them so that we can have the, the water lanes covered while I'm still trying to set up everything. Also, tangle kelps are really good at taking out the, um, the snorkel zombies, mainly because you don't have to wait for them to uh, pop their head up out of the water. It, like as soon as the snorkel zombie um, gets close to the tangle kelp, it immediately gets pulled underwater even though even though the snorkel zombie is still like submerged underwater god we have three flags this level that's crazy I feel like these newspaper zombies haven't really been a problem for us i'm pretty sure newspaper zombies are kind of like difficult to deal with in pvz2 because apparently they move a lot quicker than they do in this game i don't know i've been talking about pvz2 a lot we're not really that close to even starting that game because i mean we're not even done with this game there's still plenty of things to do while playing this game. And I'm not going to try to 100% this game again, because I've already done it. Um, I'm pretty sure I showed in the first part that I had all the achievements already. We're just going to try to complete adventure mode, and then was it do all the puzzles, do all the mini games, and do all the survivals. I'm honestly thinking of playing some co-op games on the channel, but I don't really know what to play, and I don't really know who I would play these co-op games with. I have made uh, videos on Rocket League with some of my friends, and I even have like a Minecraft video with one of my friends. I don't know, I've just been mainly focused on like solo content for this game, or for this game, for this channel. And plus, sometimes my friends are like busy sometimes, so yeah, they're not always available to record. I was thinking of recording, um, Castle Crashers or uh, Battle Block Theater. I'm still thinking about it. I could play through those games solo, which I have been doing for Castle Crashers, but I just haven't really been having that much fun with the game. It's mainly because I just haven't really improved at the game that much. Like whenever I see people playing Castle Crashers on YouTube, they're all 
doing like fucking awesome combos and shit like that and like fucking oh shit please don't lose that okay but yeah i always see people doing like insane juggling combos and like castle crashers and the fact that i'm not really able to do that it kind of not want to like play at the play the game that much because i know i'm not really that great at it so i might come back to castle crashers when i've like improved at it we got crazy dave's car key um this unlocks crazy dave's shop crazy dave's twitty dinkies <laughs> all right so oh wow it's 20k for nine slots wow um okay so pool cleaners i think i might want to get the pool cleaners you don't really need these upgrade plants um we're gonna unlock more for the shop later on as we progress but we really don't need these um upgrade plants for the adventure mode we can just use the plants that it gives us uh, I am going to buy the pool cleaners. When a zombie reaches a lawnmower, the lawnmower will not go all the way across the pool like it would with the with the grass. So yeah, having pool cleaners will pretty much solve that problem. Uh, this garden rake. I guess we can test out the garden rake. Funny thing about the zombie process, sometimes it makes them come out real little. Oh shit! This is the this is the mini game of the pool levels. Uh, real little and real mean. Defend your shins. But basically the zombies are going to be really tiny in this level. So the way the rake works is that it uh, it puts a rake to kill the first zombie of the level. Which it, it's good to use to like help you uh, set up your plants. And also like help you figure out where the first zombie is going to be. I think we'll have the walnuts and the grass lanes first because that's where football zombies are. Obviously there's no football zombies in uh, in the pool. This minigame is actually pretty simple. As long as you got like a whole row of walnuts and like uh, pea shooters in every lane, you're, you'll be fine. I guess we can put extra walnuts. Reinforce our defense. <laughs> Give me that. Give me that. And there we go. Got the jalapeno. Jalapeno? <laughs> jalapeno. There we go. Can't say words right now. Jalapeno destroys an entire lane of zombies. I'm assuming we're gonna have the Zombonies. Yep, there they are. So yeah, these are like the toughest zombies to deal with other than like Gargantuars. We won't see those until like the roof levels. The Zombonies, they crush any, any, po any Pokemon. What? They crush any plant that uh, they run into. And they also leave an ice trail, which, which when they leave an ice trail, a bobsled team pretty much comes out with like a shitload of zombies and uh yeah that's it's not fun to deal with <laughs> i'm honestly thinking of bringing the regular repeater this time just because three peter is kind of expensive and we don't really need three peter uh oh yeah i forgot the rake lasts for like three levels i'm pretty sure at some point you do need to buy another rake for it to be there and it kind of helps because we don't have to plant a potato mine in that lane yet and it will it will always be guaranteed to hit the first zombie like it's always in the right spot it's kind of hard to keep up the commentary for when i'm recording for a really long time and plus these levels are again they're really easy levels so it's not like there's anything really going on here we're kind of just waiting until the zombonies pop up oh yeah squash is also really good for handling zombonies they can pretty much just crush the zombonies immediately basically having any insta, insta kill plants is going to be very helpful against zombonies honestly we don't really need to plant that much in the water lanes Mainly because the main threat is the Zomboni, and obviously the Zomboni isn't going to go in the fucking water. There's really only one other zombie that's kind of a threat in the water, which are the dolphin zombies. Even then, those aren't really that hard to deal with. They're pretty much pole vaulters, but just in the water. Oh, there it is, there it is. You don't want to give him a chance. There we go, kill him. There is another counter to Zombonies, which can be uh, a lot more useful and it recharges quicker, which is Spike Weed. And I'm pretty sure we actually unlock Spike Weed after this level. Where's the Zomboni at? Here, put that there. All pain, yep. Bang. Eviscerated. Nice. I put a squash on the lily pad, so um, it can deal with any zombies that pop up near the end of the level. Because there are zombies that pop up in the pool at the end of the level. It's kind of annoying. Spike weed pops tires and hurts zombies that step on it. Yeah, it's really good for not only stopping zombonies, but also damaging zombies. And it also recharges really quick. Should I bring cherry bomb? Yeah, I'm going to be using... I'm going to be spamming the fuck out of spike weeds, so... Uh, yeah, let's just go with this. Oof, going for 43 minutes. Yeah, I can tell this video is going to be long, even when I edit the footage. I'll make sure to upload, um... 
shorter videos next week. That way you guys aren't so overwhelmed by really long videos. Oh, they gave me three flags this time. All right, nice. More time to sh set up shit. I can't wait until we get to the survival levels because those are really fun to play. Especially survival endless. That, that shit is really fun. Oh, right, here we go. Bam! One spike weed just takes that shit out and I can just replace it just like that. <laughs> Kill this guy. There we go. Oh, we got Torchwood now. This is where things get really fun. Torchwood basically works with uh, pea shooters, and any uh, any peas that are shot through a Torchwood are set on fire, and they end up doing double damage. That's what's uh, so good about Torchwood. So yeah, we're definitely going to do that. I'm going to do it with repeaters, because doing it with repeaters is just extremely uh, expensive so oh we have to deal with dolphin zombies now yeah we don't really need cherry bomb and jalapeno i'm, I'm kind of confident in our setup that was only two flags all right basically the deal with dolphin zombies is that they're just pole vaulting zombies in the water that's really it <laughs> they are a lot quicker you do need to stop them like a lot quicker than pole vaulters because the dolphins move uh, really quick on the waters. Uh, and I think at some point we unlock um, Tall Nut, which it basically blocks like any pole vaulters, um, dolphin zombies. So even if they try to like um, jump over a plant, they just, or they try to like jump over a Tall Nut, they just get blocked by it. Um, I think we'll go for two rows of repeaters and then we'll add some torchwoods. Oh shit, dolphin zombie. All right, we got all the repeaters up. Now we're just going to be setting up torchwoods. Oh, shit. No! Take him down, take him down! Oh, no. Take him out, take him out! Oh, my God, they're just spamming that shit. Hold on. Double double walnuts, double walnuts. Oh, I should have just been placing lily pads. Those can just stop them. All right, there we go. Look at them just shredding through the zombies with the fire piece. Oh, my God, that was so quick. All right, we got tall nut this time. So yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna be using those instead of walnuts because obviously they were just able to jump over the walnuts. Uh, now, unfortunately, walnut does not stop zombonies, so kind of one flaw about it. This is level 3-9, I'm pretty sure. Honestly, this feels like it's been going by quicker than the night levels, but it might just be me, though. We're gonna try to do that same setup, except you know, actually complete it this time. <laughs> Gonna protect the water lanes first. Dolphin zombies are a lot more threatening than pole vaulters. Now, all we need to really plant is just repeaters and torchwoods. Put that there. And then we're gonna be setting up our torchwoods. I could just do repeaters and tall nuts and we'll be fine, but no, where's the fun in that? You gonna try to jump over? Psych! You thought! You can just sit here and watch. I was gonna replace some of these sunflowers with repeaters, but I think the setup is just fine, so we'll just sit back and relax. This is pretty much the ideal setup of the pool levels. Got him down, boys. Nice. Hello, we heard you were having a pool party. We think that is fun. We'll be right over. Sincerely, the zombies. Well be right over. No wonder why they want to eat brains. So I'm pretty sure all they give us is like three Peters and Torchwoods, I'm pretty sure. They really had to spawn two zombies in the same lane. That's crazy. Uh, I could really use another three Peter, guys. All right, I'll just use a squash. Are you kidding me? The squash isn't gonna reach him? Oh my god. Okay, there we go. He gave me three Peter, finally. Doing pretty well so far. I mean, this is like the easiest conveyor belt level, to be honest. You don't really need Torchwoods anymore. I mean, it's not like you can double stack Torchwoods. I wish you could, but you can't. God, we're only on the second flag. This is crazy. There's so much fire on screen, bro. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of this shit. I'm just gonna spam the fuck out of jalapenos. Bang. 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 Holy shit, that was so easy. <laughs> uh, all right, we got a new plant, Sea Shroom. Aquatic plant that shoots short range spores. So yeah, it's uh, another mushroom plant. So you can probably tell that we're going back to nighttime. But yeah, I've been recording for an hour and 13 minutes. <laughs> like I said, these worlds are getting longer and longer. But once we finish adventure mode, these videos shouldn't be as long anymore. Uh, thank you for watching and actually next time, 
we might do some mini games. I'm not entirely sure. Or I might just save it for the end of the game. So yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs>